Please refer to the TIMSA diagnostic information video in order to access the diagnostic menu. Once in the diagnostic menu, look for the fault, which is engine. Select engine and you'll be rewarded with the DTC numbers. If there's an arrow, press it. That'll give you additional DTC numbers. This one has 517, 632, and 665. Please proceed to the right rear of the vehicle. The tech is now going to demonstrate where to put line clamps on. Please ensure you use line clamps at the inlet and the outlet, the two hoses he just pointed at. If you don't, you're going to risk a huge mess of coolant because these are the coolant lines that you have to open up. Please note the difference between the DEF unit that's in the tank and the DEF unit the tech just held up. Also, please note that each line is identified, whether it's an inlet or outlet. Please label the lines on the one unit in the tank so you do not get these confused when going back together. Because again, the unit is different on the updated inlets and outlets. You'll also need a hose that you can cut a section out of because it is a different size. Where the tech is grabbing that 90, you're going to make a 90 degree hose to fit on that far left side. Some techs do loosen or remove the DEF tank for removal of the DEF sensor. It's not necessary. As you'll see in this short video clip, you'll remove all the hoses and then take the locking ring loose and then pry it up. There is an O-ring on the inside or outside of the uh, uh, um, sensor that does have to be placed into position. The DEF sensor will have coolant in it and fluids in it. Um, it will uh, come out without having to remove the, uh, the tank. You do have to move it around and turn a little bit because in the base there is an extension of where the pickup is. Uh, once you get that unit out as the tech is uh, moving it around, um, it'll, it will come out, believe me. Once out, please make sure that you drain it properly because it will be full of fluids. When you're ready, please take the new unit and it's just a reverse procedure. Make sure you get it slide it or slide into the, the, the tank itself and move all the hoses and all the lines and the electrical plugs out of the way uh, so you can get this unit to slide in. It goes in relatively easy. But once you get it in um, at the top of the sensor, the O-ring does need to be lubricated so it will slide into the DEF tank properly. It's a pretty snug fit, so once you get it in, but considerable amount of pressure to, to get it forced into the DEF tank. At this point, you just need to align the uh, trim ring, uh, securing ring on the top, and then one final tap to just make sure it's seated properly. At this point, all you have to do is just install the hoses. Please don't forget to plug in the unit when you're completed. This is what the unit looks like completed and installed in the DEF tank. On the TS-35, remember the lines have been relocated.